What happens on the inside shows up on the outside. If you just got an argument at home and you go to work, people are like, leave your personal life. I understand the idea. Leave your personal life at home and show up. It's almost as silly as asking somebody to leave an arm because your body is your hard drive. Like it's your container. Where's your personality stored? It's not stored, you know, right? Like it's in your body. Where's your character? Where's your values? Where's your past history? Where are all these things? Where's your thoughts and emotions? It's in your body. It's in this container. And we move this container around with us. So it's, it's very important to understand and to spend that time what's going on in this container. And how do I move? And in this movement, what is that movement telling me? And so self-guided, so many people will, fancy people out there in the leadership realm will say leadership is influence. And I love when they say that because influence is what? External. It's outside. Everything for our eyes are outside. It's outward facing and forward facing. It, they're not looking internal or behind us. So now how do we dive into ourself? And so for what you just said was self-guided. And that I think that's so important, self-guided. So whether you're in a formal leadership position, you're looking to be a formal leader, you have aspirations for something you're currently doing, whatever it is, it is self-guided. Whatever age you are, it is self-guided. So as you transition through different phases of your life, you have choice. And you make choices internal that show up in your behavior. The, the position, the title, you can still influence and model and do all those things with or without the title, how you speak, how you behave, how you, your body language, you know, everything that you guys are experts on, it starts internal and it's that guided, it's that decision. And if you want to change, that can be a very conscious decision as well. You know, I grew up as an only child and when I went into the SEAL teams, I noticed that, oh, wow, I was doing things for me because I didn't have to think about others. And then I realized that is not the type of person, that's not the behavior, and that's not the type of person I want to be. And so it took very conscious effort for an only child to really be team focused. And it, and it took time and energy to then switch and adjust that behavior. Well, it's incredibly important because if, if you want that leadership position, if that is something of a goal that you're working towards, but yet you're unable to lead even the, the person in the, in the seat next to you, well, then how do you expect others to see you as a leader, as somebody who they're going to put in that role? That starts with yourself. When you are self-guided, then others start to look at you in that office and they're thinking, well, he seems to know what's going on. I'm just going to follow suit. Well, now everyone in the higher ups are looking at, well, that we have a natural leader downstairs. Everyone's already following him. That's the guy that we're promoting. He doesn't need any work. He already understands that in and himself. Mm -hmm. 